Now if it suddenly goes dark in here, it's because the clerk hit the lights, so don't worry. Welcome back to Spirit Sears Cocktail Corner. I'm Sabra and today we are featuring some cocktails made with sake. I feel like it is a very underrated beverage, especially where it has been around since 500 BCE. So let's get started. The first one we are going to make is just a sake palm. So get our shaker and some ice. And we're gonna add two ounces of our sake. We are using the Momokawa brand and it is made up in Portland, Oregon. So, help some out. And this one's a super simple recipe. It's just a two-on-one cocktail recipe. So now we are gonna use the BG Reynolds brand Lush Grenadine. And where the palm comes from in the name is grenadine is made from pomegranate juice and pomegranate molasses. Don't know if you know that, and this lid is stuck. Hang on. And this is going to give the cocktail a gorgeous, like, deep pink color when we're all done. And then just some lime juice, just another ounce of this, and then we're ready to shake it up. Okay, then we are going to strain it into our martini glass. Oh, I guess it's turning out more like a plum color, but still that's gorgeous. Okay. So you get a little hint of the rice at the very end, but throughout it you get the lime and the pomegranate coming through with the nice tart flavor. So this one would be a great anytime drink that's super refreshing. So please hold and we'll come back with one more sake drink. Welcome back. Our second easy to make sake cocktail is the sake mojito. So let's get going on that. This one's going to be a great summertime drink. It's nice and light and not super heavy on the alcohol, so if you don't want to get toasted, this is the drink for you. Okay, we're going to use two ounces of the sake again. And one ounce of lime. I know most people think sake is only for with sushi because that's the way it's been kind of presented here in the US, but it's really good pretty much with anything. You can kind of pair it with foods just like wine. So I would say just start experimenting with it because you'll be surprised what it goes well with. Then one ounce of simple, and we are using just Demerara simple because that's what we have here. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of mint while I shake it, and then we're going to put some mint in the glass as well. 
Okay, we're gonna add some ice to our glass. And this one, you're gonna want it to be a highball, and I'll show you why in just a second. Perfect, okay. Now we get to open the champagne. This is gonna give us the fizziness while bump up the alcohol content as well. If I can even open the champagne and see the pull tab. <laughs> oh, I did it right. Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna top this up with the champagne. And I have Cooks. It's one of the cheaper champagnes because I feel like where we're using it just for the fizziness, I don't need to get one of my more liked champagnes that's a little bit more money. So just get what you prefer. I don't mind this one for drinking. Okay, we're gonna stir it just a bit. And we're gonna add some more mint in there and this is done. Just smack it a little bit to activate the mint and there you go. Super gorgeous. Really refreshing, a little bit of the sake, but a lot of the lime and mint come through, so a mojito. And there you go. So that's two simple sake cocktails. Thanks.